Kristen, Rob, and their three children find themselves spending time in different areas of the house because they don't know how to turn this cold and outdated living room into home base for everyone. So my team and I are here to give this newly blended family a living room where they can actually be a family. Ginny's making a new art piece for the room using styrofoam that's been dissolved. She's finished adding a layer of plaster to cover the surface and has coated it with metallic paint to make it shine. We also cut out a hole in the center to fit the TV. And now we're ready to frame it. Oh, Ginny, I really love this project. Thank you. Well, I wanted to try something different in terms of materials. Uh -huh. And I mean, not only is this wall art, it's going to become the backdrop for our TV. Exactly. And once we put these 12 inch pieces of pine around, it'll really frame out the TV as well as the art. Nice. So let's, uh, let's add this top one on first, all right? We added a rabbit cut along the edge of our frame pieces that fit right over the Styrofoam's MDF backing. Now we can attach it with two and a half inch screws. All right, so now our frame is attached to the MDF. I'll go ahead and get Jake and we can throw it in the room. All right. Rob's daughter only visits on the weekends, so we're creating a special art table that's just for Skylar. We added a ledger to the wall and slipped a two inch sheet of pine over top to create an art table for the corner of the room. And you said, you know, your daughter definitely wants an art table, right? Yeah, this is definitely perfect, perfect height for her, plenty of surface area. All right, well, let's go ahead and paint it up. It's good to go. Okay. All right. Kristen and Rob have an old side table that didn't fit their style. Instead of throwing it out, Ginny's giving it a new function for the room. All right, so this is the new stool for the kids' art desk that okay. we're repurposing from your old side table that was in your living room. Um, so we just cut some two-inch foam to put on top as a padding, and then what we're gonna do is take fabric, which is our accent color, and upholster the top. Sounds great. Ginny's adhering the foam with spray glue. Then she can attach fabric to the underside of the table with staples. Now we have our stool for the kids. They have a nice cushion to sit on. What do you think? That was pretty easy. For more information on green ideas, log on to HGTV.com. While our bench takes shape, Jake's applying a finishing touch to the newly cemented fireplace. All right, now that I've got both my layers of the overlay on, I'm adding my protective sealer here, which is gonna add some durability to it, and it's gonna finish off this wonderful fireplace. Kristen and I have been busy constructing a coffee table for the living room, complete with pull-out shelves. The last step on this massive project is attaching the tabletop. All right, perfect. So the top is on, our uh, sides are in, and they're stopping. All we have to do now is get our legs on, and we can throw it into the room. What do you think? Great, I can't wait to use it. Our projects are almost complete, but I want Kristen and Rob to be surprised when they see the finished product. You guys get out of here for a little while, and when we're done, I'll call you, and you'll have a brand new living room, okay? Sounds good. All right, talk to you in a bit. With the entertainment center finished, it's time to bring in our styrofoam backdrop. All we have to do now is secure it to the wall, then we can throw the TV in. All right. I'm installing the frame to the studs in the wall using three-inch cabinet screws. We're going full steam ahead and bringing everything in to make this the ultimate contemporary living room. An area rug will add warmth to the space, along with new lighting fixtures and colorful furniture that'll fit perfectly around their custom coffee table. Coming up, Kristen and Rob see their new living room. We're a little nervous. Rob Moline and Kristen Pipko had a living room that wasn't being lived in. They wanted to transform the space into a room where their blended family wanted to spend time. But with full-time jobs, three kids to raise, and a fourth one on the way, they had no time to even think about making that happen. 
So my team and I transformed their hollow living room into a space this family wants to gather. Now it's time to see what Kristen and Rob think of their new living room. Hey, hey Kristen, hey. what's up? Rob, how are you doing? Yeah. So you guys have a brand new living room. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go check it out. Let's go check Let's it go. out. Come on. Oh my God. That looks great. Oh my what do you God. think? That's awesome. When we got here, the living room was a hollow space filled with mismatched furniture. Now it's a contemporary room that the whole family can enjoy. Wow, what a difference. There's, it looks bigger, is it? Yeah. It looks bigger, but yet it feels home, not like a gymnasium. And the echo's gone. Yeah. You guys were a little bit nervous about the color. When I first saw it, I was like, uh-oh. <laughs> yeah. Because I, I would have wanted it to be warm, and I'm right. worried, I always think of blue as being cold. Mm -hmm. But having all the browns and stuff, I think it, it's not cold at all. Right. What did you notice when you first walked in? The pictures. Yeah. You like those? Yeah. The fireplace and the pictures, yeah. 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 Oh, the whole fireplace in general. The marble fireplace didn't fit their style so we covered it with an eco-friendly rust-colored cement that warms up the space and hung portraits above to emphasize family unity. I've always wanted to put something there and I yeah. never knew what to put there. Yeah, yeah. That's definitely something we wouldn't have done. The room had no storage, so we installed a wall-length entertainment center with tons of cubby space. And now you guys have all of this storage underneath and these great sliding doors, so you guys have more storage than you need. But again, that was something that you guys asked for. Looks really good. We added a backdrop made from styrofoam to give the wall a sculpted look. That looks great. Yeah. The room before had no center point. So we constructed a custom coffee table where the whole family can gather around. Do you guys? It doesn't look like we made it. It doesn't no, look, it looks like, like we like actually bought it. None of the stuff looks like we made it, but we did. The fold-up table was flimsy and unattractive, so we installed a sturdy art desk in the corner that Rob's daughter Skylar can call her own. Very cool. Let's talk about that uh, chair right there. I you know. guys repurposed that. Yeah, you we and made Jenny this. did. Jenny and I did oh, this. That's the one you did. Yeah. And that. Originally was, do you know what it originally was? I think that was an end table? Exactly. The room before had little character, so we added two different wall colors to give it some class. We also added a side table using the same wood as the coffee table and the same cement overlay we applied to the fireplace, tying the whole room together. All right, so you guys, you know, you really needed a room that is the new heart of the home. Is this room the heart of the home? This, this is, is the it. heart of the home. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. I love it. I guess we've done our job. Oh, oh, Skylar, did you see the desk? This new room's going to bring our family together now, because like we said before, Skylar, I wanted her to kind of feel welcome and as a part of the family here. Now with the pictures and a spot for her to do her homework, I think that that's what it's doing. And just one room for all of us to be in at the same time, coexist, doing different things. It's amazing.